Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part six of our series of session on the feature of interest calculation. So in the last session, we understood how we can set up the interest style, that is the periodicity, month, calendar month, then calendar year and 365 day and year. The next option, which was there in the configuration is the type of balance. Now, this is a very, very simple configuration. It is very easy to understand, but you have to see that how you are going to select the type of balance used for calculation and what will be the impact of the selection of the type of balance on the interest amount. So we will quickly go into tally and then try and understand the three options that are available. One is calculate interest on all balances, calculate interest on debit balance, and the third one is calculate interest on credit balance. So let's quickly see the options there. And then we will also see by changing these options, what is the impact of interest calculation on the specified ledgers. So let's go to tally now. Let us take the first example of the loan account. So we already have a loan account called HDFC secured loan. So let me go to alteration, select the ledger and select HDFC. The option that we have here is 12% calendar year on credit balance. Now, if you take a loan account at any given point in time, the loan account balance is always going to be credit balance. Even though on a regular basis, you make payment, the loan amount, the closing balance till the loan gets completely closed will have credit balance. So now the objective here is that you want to calculate interest on the closing credit balance of this particular account. In this case, we are going to ensure that you are going to select the interest balance as credit balance. And now let us see the interest calculation report. If we notice here, the balances starting from 1st of April till 30th of November, the balances are all credit balance. Now month on month on the balances, tally is calculating interest at the specified rate, which is 12% and the interest amount is calculating. Now what happens by mistake if you go and set this calculate interest on debit balance. So let us see what is the impact if you set select debit balance. We come here and then we say calculate interest on debit. Let us see what happens to the interest. Now since the closing balance of this account does not have debit balance, even though you have specified the rate of interest, since the balance to be calculated is debit balance, tally is not calculating. This is what we are seeing the report is blank. Now let us go back to another ledger which is the India Mart. India Mart is a customer. Generally the balance of customer is going to stay debit balance, right? So let's go to India Mart, check the configuration. If we notice here the interest calculated is on the debit balance only. Now since we have set this calculate interest on debit balance, the result that we are going to see is these are the invoices that are pending where interest is calculated past due date. So again, when you press Alt F5, we will observe the interest calculation that has been applied starting from the due date and till the date of the last date of voucher. In case you select this ledger and if the interest calculation is set on credit balance, what happens? Let us see. Let's come down to the the interest balance and select credit balance only. Press Ctrl A. You will observe that the interest calculation report is blank because this party has a debit balance. And since we had set to calculate interest on credit balance, the interest is not calculated. Now let us take a use case scenario. Let us say there is debit balance pending for this party India Mart, which we saw earlier and for some reason, let us say this party gives you an advance amount. When you pay an advance amount for future supply on that amount, if you want to calculate interest, since on debit amount, you are calculating interest to basically see what is the amount of interest that you have lost. Similarly, if you have received advance from your customer for future supply 
and if you want to know what is the amount of interest that you are saving on the money that you have collected from your customer then how do we handle that so in this case now there is debit balance where the amount is outstanding from the party and also you have an amount of credit balance where you have received an advance and you want to compute interest on the credit balance also and find out what is the amount of interest that you have saved so how do we handle this to see this impact let us pass one advance receipt amount from india mart on 1st of march you are receiving an advance amount of 2 lakh rupees from india mart for future supply so now there is a receipt amount of 2 lakh rupees so how do we now configure to check the interest on both type of balances so this is where the option of all balances configuration is going to help you to achieve your objective so let me select all balances enter i'm going to save this you will now notice here the advance amount that you have received where the credit amount is 2 lakh rupees advance you have received the interest amount on the advance amount is 263 rupees and you will notice that this is the credit which means basically this is the notional interest that you have earned and the other interest that you are seeing is all debit which means that's the notional interest that you are losing on not collecting the money after the due date now let us go and quickly change this interest type to debit balance only then we will see what happens to this report so let us change the interest balance to debit balance only and then see the impact of the report now if you notice that the 2 lakh rupees that you have received as advance as vanished from the interest calculation report and the interest amount is vanished because we had set for this ledger to calculate interest only on the debit balance so this way depending on the nature of ledger and depending on the business scenario of your organization you can use this three methods of applicability of interest i hope this simple option you would have understood the impact and the implication of setting up the type of balance especially uh, in case of all balances you would have noticed that how you can make use of the all balance in case of any credit amount or basically the advance amount that if you receive and uh, you want to calculate interest on that the ideal thing would be for you to select the all balance so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session with much more interesting configuration which is the advanced configuration we will see and understand those thank you